Good morning, happy Vlogmas Day 13. I'm having a lovely leisurely morning to myself. I'm so thankful. My friend Alicia Marie sent me her new merch. It says burnt out. It's like her Vlogmas merch. Obsessed with the color. It's amazing. Um, still waiting for them to fix my heat. I asked them yesterday to be fair. So I'm giving them a day. But my dad, he sent me this this morning. He goes, hey, go check your mail room. I could not be more grateful. Last night after ice skating coming back, I was freezing cold. I slept with my robe on. I never do that. Um, and I, I, he was like, I was at Costco and I walked by and it just felt so good. He bought himself one living in Florida. He sent one to me and my aunt Debbie and I am forever grateful. Like this is so nice. Like I'm about to take a shower. So when I get the shower, I'm just going to stand in front of this like this. I needed this so bad. It's like this heat dish thing. It's not a space heater. You have to be four to 11 feet away from it. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. This is my first heater ever, but it's so nice. It has like a handle. I can move it around. I could tilt it up down so I could like put it by the couch. But right now I just have it here and I'm literally just standing in front of it. Like I am so happy right now. So thank you, dad. That was very thoughtful. But today is a very exciting day. I'm going to be showing you guys in depth and revealing, if you will, my collaboration with Doing Well Daily, my own day book. This is my second version. The first one I came out with junior year of college question mark no senior year senior year and i am so excited to release my second one for you guys this is like the post-grad edition but if you're in college it's totally usable as well so i'm going to be doing like i did in the vlogmas that i released my last planner in a few years ago i'm going to be doing a plan with me so i haven't it's stressing me out that i haven't touched my planner yet this morning but i was like i want to do it on camera and i wasn't awake yet so i'm gonna be doing a plan with me in a little bit for you guys and i have secret santa tonight with katie bilotti brooke michio margo ashray and margo lee um so i can finally tell you guys who i have um and we'll wrap her presents together and everything and we have lots of cleaning we have lots of like random things to do lots of errands to run lots of gals on the go um lots of things and it's already like 11 a.m so i need to um get a move on but i let myself sleep in this morning which was like 9 30 and I really needed it. Like I actually slept through the night and I haven't been always doing that, but I think it was the melatonin mixed with, honestly, since it was so cold, I was like bundled up. I don't really know, everything hit right. So without further ado, let's, I don't know why I'm saying this. Let's go take a shower and start the day. Defrosting after my shower. They just emailed me and someone, it's a contractor, not my super, is coming to fix the heat tomorrow morning. Now it says it's 68 in here. I think it's because it's literally right next to this, but we'll take it, we will take it. Let's do a plan with me. All right, you guys, here is the version two of my day book with doing well daily i'm obsessed like the mood board we created and everything is very like new york city or just city chic like grown up little black book not actually but you know what i mean like this vibe i love it it's just a simple black cover and then in a different sort of material we have doing well with this other square so let's plan together i'm going to go through this book with you guys what has changed what i've added basically I am seriously so excited to actually have this in my hand. I've been planning with it for the last few mornings and it has truly changed my game. So make yourself a cup of coffee, tea, decaf coffee if you will, and let's get started. Okay, so first up some details about this book. This vlog is coming out Wednesday, December 14th, and the planner is going to be going on sale tomorrow, Thursday, December 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you have time 
to go home after work, school, whatever it may be, and hopefully be able to get your own day book. The shipping is gonna be USPS priority two day, but with the holidays, you never really know, but I feel like it's probably gonna be more four to six days, so just keep that in mind if you're getting it as a gift for somebody. If you guys remember from my last day book, it came with this beautiful, not this one, but like a beautiful felt marker pen situation that you trace the quote in, which you'll see here in a second. Um, but this time it's not coming with a marker unless you're the first 100 people to order the day book. I have the link and I will put it down below to the markers you need to get because honestly they run out after a while and it's nice to have a pack of them, whatever. So I'll have a link below to the markers that we recommend. I actually don't even have one right now because mine's like out of ink. So it's gonna be $45 for this beautiful day book. It's also undated too, so you don't have to get it like at the start of 2022, you could start it tomorrow, which is the beautiful thing. I don't usually use mine on the weekends. Some days I'll just use the days past before. Basically there's a single day on each page. So it's really nice, it's very flexible. You can do you as you please. And we also added to this book a yearly and monthly um, calendar in the beginning of the book. All right, I'm getting impatient. Let's get on into the book. Okay, so here is the front page. I have this letter for you guys. My word of the year is wellness, and I want that to carry through in this day book. I hope it motivates you to take care of your mind, body, and soul while still getting after the day. And my attempt at a signature. <laughs> uh, I also feel like this is like one of my favorite quotes this year. It says, you owe it to yourself to become everything you dreamed of being. And we have a nice little skyline situation here to kind of inspire you with the city vibes. So right here, when you get your own day book, this is an example page I created with the founder, Sydney Weber. She's incredible. She hand write, wrote all of this. So literally from the quote to literally this is my text, but I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie, this is her handwriting because my handwriting is terrible and you guys are gonna see in this video actually. But, so this is kind of an example you guys can go through to see kind of how I fill it out, but we're gonna fill it out together anyways. Next up here, we have yearly events, which is something we added and thought it was really nice to have. This is something I'm excited to fill out. So basically we have every month of the year and you can write like, let's say your friend's wedding in February or oh, like, trip to Miami in August. I don't know, like back to school, September or August, you know, you can put certain big things, not everything, but just big things, so that when you open your book, you can kind of look in the beginning and be like, okay, what are the big things happening this year for each month, like before you start a new month, just to kind of remind yourself, so love that addition. So technically, this is 90 days um, for you to use. I don't use mine every single day because I'll let it like go over to the next day, whatever. But if you use it literally every single day, it would get you three months technically, but I, I really feel like you'll use it longer. At least I do, I don't know, everyone's different. For that, we have three months here. Um, and you can circle, like let's say you're using this monthly calendar for February, you have a February one. So there's only three here because it's technically for three months. Um, again, I use mine for longer, but you have three months here to fill out for literally every single day of the month. Okay, so here is an example of a blank day. I hope you guys can see this well. I, I don't film these types of videos a lot, but it's definitely really fun. Also, my nails are popping in this, huh? Um, so this is what one single day spread will look like. I love it. I get so excited every time I open it. It's just a whole new quote, a new motivation every single day. So on this side, this space, if you want, you can handwrite, you know, Monday, today's Tuesday. So I'm gonna do Tuesday with my terrible handwriting. And I love seeing people's Instagram stories of them getting super creative and colorful. That's why I decided to use a pink marker today because it just makes me happy. And then you can also put the date in as well. It is December 13th, 12, 13, love that. Then here we have affirmations. So here you would put, I'll switch to my pen. <laughs> here you would put things you want to affirm. This is one that I kept from my last book because I found I used it a lot. This could be anything like, for me, typical affirmations that I will do. I, as you guys know, I have like health anxiety. I'm completely a healthy person and I'm very grateful for that, but I don't know why I deal with it. So I pretty much every day will write down, I am healthy. On days I might have a workout and I'm anxious about a workout, whatever, I'll do, I am strong. Another one I've been doing lately is I am capable, but it doesn't even have to be in the form of I am. It could be 
today will be amazing. Like the live show is gonna be insane. So we have four lines here. I don't always do four. It depends on how motivated I'm feeling that day. You can also do I am loved. These are just, you know, affirming things in yourself, basically manifesting things for yourself. This one is um, new. We used to have grateful for, but I felt like that was kind of like affirmations in a way, whatever. Um, so I changed this one to goals. Uh, so these could be, you know, daily goals, I would say, since this is like your day spread. So for me, my goals today, clean my closet room. Like that just needs to happen. I keep putting it off. I also really need my bedroom to be clean. I just have stuff thrown everywhere from this weekend. Another big goal I have today is call the fam. And these, today I guess my goals are more like to-dos, but they're like things that, non-negotiables that need to happen today. Um, and my last goal is I wanna have a fun festive day. Like I wanna, I wanna feel the Christmas spirit, the holiday spirit. But again, my goals change every single day. Some days they're more logistical based, some days they're more inspirational based. It really is up to you, it's your day book. Next up here, this is my favorite part, it's the personal growth quote. Um, so we curated 90 different quotes for you guys. This one is, you only fail when you stop trying. Amen, and so another way to kind of instill this quote in your day, and what I was talking about with the felt pen marker earlier, is, tracing your quote. Sometimes before I even do anything else, I'll literally trace the quote while I have my inspirational music playing. It's so fun. Sydney's handwriting is absolutely amazing and it's very satisfying to take a felt marker to the quote. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of us type a lot these days. We're not handwriting as much, especially cursive. So it's very therapeutic almost to trace the quote. Fabulous. So then we have some boxes down here. I always like to say this is the more motivational page. This is what you should do when you first wake up to kind of lightly get after the day. And then this is the big get after the day page. Again, this is all for one day. So um, down here we have wellness, which I'll explain in a second. Stay hydrated, which I think speaks for itself. And then nourishment. So I'm gonna start in the middle with stay hydrated since I still have my marker. Um, we thought it'd be fun last on the last day book We had water droplets and you filled them out and each water droplet was equal to eight ounces, but I Literally right here. I use a water bottle and that's how I track things rather than by cups So this is one water bottle. You should definitely drink more in a day But I feel like you're not gonna always remember so I'm trying to be realistic here. So for me I know I'm about halfway Through my water bottle and by the end of the day, I'd like to at least fill one water bottle so I just think it's more fun, aesthetically pleasing. We have fun with it. Switching back over to my pen, we have wellness and nourishment. Wellness is inspired by the self-care box and my last um, day book, but since wellness is my word of the year and I've been really into that, I thought it was appropriate to change it to this name. I like this because it's not like, what am I doing to work out today? You know, wellness can be doing, like going for a walk. Wellness can be making yourself a green juice. Wellness could be, staying hydrated wellness could be going to a workout class wellness could also be like i'm taking self like time for myself i've literally written in this wellness box like stay home do nothing today you know it's totally up to you that's what i like about it like i don't want anything on here to make you feel like you're not doing enough um so for me today i don't have any workouts today um so i want to make sure to get some steps in I'd also like to focus on eating some nutritious things today, like maybe a nutritious lunch, like a salad or something. Um, so, just nutritious foods. And my last one is listen to Christmas music because nothing is better and puts you in the best mood. Lastly, on this page, we have nourishment. Um, so I like this as well because it's kind of ambiguous. You know, for me, I've actually been planning my meals more. So I'll literally do breakfast, which I already ate. So I'm just gonna write eight because I don't need to plan it. But I normally would have like done this before I ate breakfast, but you guys know me, I need to eat breakfast. <laughs> Lunch, I'm feeling a sweet green salad. That just like sounds good. I don't have groceries and now I'm just like 
I don't even know if I'm gonna get groceries because I'm going out of town after the live show this weekend. I'm going home, but it's only Tuesday. Maybe I'll get some groceries. Anyways, I want a sweet green salad. And then for dinner, I'm actually going to our secret Santa party and we're all bringing something, which I also need to buy. So <laughs> that's <laughs> after the end of this, I'm like, okay, I need to get to this page so I can start planning. <laughs> But yeah, so that would be the first page. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's kind of how I think about all this and fill it out. This page, this is the bread and butter. This is what keeps me in line every day. So up here, this is called Get After the Day. Um, I love having this. I know a lot of people do too. This is going to be your hourly. I have it from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. because I'm hoping, you know, this is the most general like time, but I know some people get up way earlier, some people stay up later, but we did 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. That seemed to work for people. Oh, I accidentally just wrote in it. Today is different because I don't have like appointments necessarily. Um, I just have things I need to get done in my own time, which I am very, very grateful for. I do know tonight at 7 p.m. we have the Secret Santa party at Katie's apartment. Um, so I definitely have that in there. Sometimes I do still like to make times for myself So I actually stay in line like today. I'm filming this plan with me. I would like to get lunch at 1 p.m So we'll do sweet green again like it's totally up to you if you have more meetings that day You would put like when your meetings are and that's what I would do um, but so I have that I want to do errands from 2 to 3 which we'll get into what those are and then from like four to six, I need to wrap all these gifts, post office, clean, and then Secret Santa. And then when I get back from Secret Santa, I need to upload vlog miss clips because obviously I'm vlogging every day. This is kind of the sitch since I'm recording this a little bit later. I kind of already had my morning and did a lot of stuff this morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next up, jot it down. So these are, this is like a notes area. This used to be um, like random to-dos that I had to get done for like my home or like random errands, um, which I still definitely use it for, but I wanted it to be even more general, just like jot it down. You know, if you literally have a thought, like let's say I'm on a call, this is your little notes area, which I think is really important and I could have used for my last day book. So I'm excited that we kind of added that in here. So for jot it down, I need to touch base with, we call him Team GOTG, <laughs> about the live show because we have another live show this weekend and there's some things we want to like change, just some like technical stuff, whatever, and I want to touch base with them. Or I'll also be like, I need to call my brother, he's driving home tomorrow and then he's coming up to New York and I want to make sure he has the proper clothes, he was asking about what to wear call freddie back like random stuff like they could go under to do's but more like general stuff that i'm like huh i also grocery shop question mark i know i need avocados more eggs and fruit so sometimes here i'll literally write my whole grocery list you know whatever feels right in that day it's kind of awesome how you can figure it out yourself lastly here to do's this one we added way more um, lines and everything. My last planner, we did work and side hustle, which was fun because basically in, in college, I would use work for my schoolwork and then side hustle is like my YouTube and stuff. But I wanted to make this super general, you know, maybe you have all kinds of to-dos. You could still, if you wanted in theory, like label on top here, work or school, and this could be work like school and work or work and let's say like an Etsy shop, an Etsy, you know, something like that I think is great, but I wanted to make it more customizable because post-grad we're doing all kinds of things. So I love a to-do list. Like when I tell you I love a to-do list, I love a to-do list. I love checking it off so much. I'm someone that likes to cross through, um, but sometimes if you want, you could like draw a circle next to it if you would prefer to check, it's very customizable. So. And I like to get fun with it, so I wanted to film my plan with me, so I'll literally draw like a little camera, so I know that means film, plan with me. I also need to film a reel for a brand. I need to record ads for our podcast episode this week. Also need to record a voiceover for something else. I still tend to like to organize like this is more work stuff and this is more other to do's just because my brain works like that but it kind of just 
has to do with you, so I'll probably up here write work, and then up here I'll do etc. just because I need that for myself. Uh, today, I need to go to ATM, get cash, because I'm tipping out all of my doormen, the porter, the super, everything like that, and I just wanna like get all that done, get, get them all in envelopes. I also need to buy wrapping paper and gift bags. Need to go to FedEx to return Fashion Pass and ship out my Dyson Airwrap giveaway winner, their prize, obviously. By the way, that giveaway is closed, but there will be more. Clean closet and bedroom. I'm uh, definitely uh, really motivated today. Let's hopefully I get all this done. Oh, I need to wrap Secret Santa and Ryan's gift because Ryan and I are gift exchanging, I think, tomorrow. And then lastly, I need to do many loads of laundry. So <laughs> those are all the things and see all the room I have for more to do's, which is amazing because I feel like throughout the day I'll be like, oh my gosh, like I'll be on a call with someone. I'm like, I'll get that done right now. And I put it on the to-do list. It's the worst when I start the day and my to-do list is already full. And then I'm like writing on the side. So there's lots of space here. So thank you so much for planning with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this day book will be launching tomorrow or if you're not watching it on this specific day, it's Thursday, December 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, doingwellDaily.com. I will have the link down below for you guys so you can have the link already. I'll be posting a ton on my Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, posting the heck out of it. Doing Well Daily with Danielle Carolyn. It's such a dream. It's such a dream come true to have this planner with her. It's, I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to do another one. There are literally so many pages in here for you guys to customize and have fun with it. When you get your books in the mail, please send me Instagram stories. At the end as well, I thought I'd highlight there is this random um, little notes pad for just random things. We literally wrote all the things, you know, whatever. If you need brain dump, whatever, we just have this back here. But I love you guys. This vlog is not over, but that was my little plan with me. I'm so excited for you guys to get your own. All right, now that we know everything I have to get done today, let's get into it. Okay, we are bundling up. It's 30 degrees outside. Um, I know the greens don't match. I just don't really care. I'm just going to run errands, all the things that you guys already know. So here is my fit. I'm wearing socks with my Uggs, this super puff jacket from Aritzia, hoodie. I have three shirts on under this. <laughs> I'm really getting good at layering, honestly. got back here are some of the, this is what I got from the grocery I'm not gonna go in depth because it's all stuff that I've gotten before just like breakfast stuff some lunch things more turkey I'm still on the hunt to find like a hummus I really enjoy because they sell Ithaca hummus at Whole Foods but not the original one they all they sell all the flavored ones I'm like no I want the original so I'm trying trying kava hummus I don't know I'm being like a child but these just sounded really nice to have as a snack. I got croissants to bring to Katie's tonight. This is what I'm gonna bring. Nothing crazy. She's doing like a cheese board stuff. She was like, no one has to bring anything, but I think we're also bringing like a little something. These are like my new favorite crackers to dip into hummus or peanut butter, honestly. They're like CD crackers. Um, and then I got gift wrap tape. I got a ton of gift wrapping stuff that I will show you guys once we wrap. And then I did get two things at Sephora that I've been meaning to get. Um, my scalp has been like flaking and it's honestly like it shouldn't be embarrassing because a lot of people deal with it But I've been getting my hair done a lot and everyone's like girl. You need to get your scalp fixed <laughs> So Kat at cam artistry my girl. She told me to get this um, scalp treatment from Briogeo So I'm hoping this helps because I'm not loving this and then my friend Kelly my other makeup artist 
has been using this mask a lot from Tatcha, the Violet Sea Radiance Mask. I used to have it and I finished it and I forgot how bright it makes your face look. It's very brightening. So I did a little repurchase there. Sorry, that's my laundry. I need to switch to the dryer. Making a little cauliflower thin sandwich. I don't have any tomatoes and I, the sprouts were bad that I used in one of my last videos. So it's just turkey, lettuce, and the cauliflower thins. But the secret sauce is the sub sauce I made. It's so good. So I'm going to pour a little bit of that on. A lot of it. <laughs> it's basically olive oil, red wine vinegar, and oregano, I think, and it's so good and it makes the sandwich delicious. It's time to wrap some gifts. I went to Paper Source. They just have the cutest, best stuff. It's a little bit more expensive, which I was humbled by. I did not realize until I got there and I was like, this stuff is just so cute, whatever. So I got this stack of Christmas cards. This is where I'll put my Dorman's like, gifts I'm giving them. These are the two gift wrapping papers that I got. Um, candy canes, and this is green with like gold specks. I got some tags to write like to and from. I got a ton of tissue paper. This gift bag is the cutest thing ever. The car with the Christmas tree on top, I'm obsessed. And then I got two large gift bags because I got Ryan clothes and they didn't have any boxes at Madewell. So, and I, I am almost positive he's not wrapping something for me. He's probably going to do a gift bag as well. So, yeah, I thought those two would fit all the clothes. Um, but, yeah, so, okay, it's time to reveal who I have for Secret Santa. Okay, so, da da da, -da for Secret Santa, I got Brooke. <laughs> we used Elfster.com and basically put all of our names in, and then it did a digital draw and sent us all an email with who we have. And it's funny, because I know Brooke doesn't have me, because she was like, okay, like, I didn't get you for Secret Santa, so we could do Christmas gifts. And I looked at her, and I don't think she told me that last, or we didn't have each other last year, so maybe we did. I hate when it's a small group of Secret Santa. I don't want to tell, because then it, like, easily minimizes down, like, who it could be. Um, I just love a surprise. But I was like, oh my gosh, why did you tell me that? Like, I don't want to know. And and so I was like, and she was like, well, do you have me? And I was like, I don't want to tell you. Like, that doesn't make it fun. And she just kind of dropped it, so she might have an idea that I have her. But she's in luck, because I do know her very well. Um, so I got her some fun things. The first thing is like a small cute little thing. I went to that store called Boyar Gifts in West Village. I think they have the cutest, funniest little things. Definitely go check it out. I got her this coaster. <laughs> it has drugs. Not that she's like a big drug girl or anything, but I think it's really cool and her apartment is very colorful and I know that she will like this because she did ask for this. We did like little wish lists on Elfster. Obviously, I feel like we're all really good gift givers, whatever, but it was nice. I have heard her talk about these before anyways. I got her the Jonathan Adler canister. I got her the one that says edibles. She had said she wanted one of the <laughs> drug ones. <laughs> she just thinks they're funny. Um, so I got her this one because there's one that says straight up weed, but I thought that this would be a good vibe because it's edibles, so like she could put snacks in there, you know? Like Obviously, she's probably not going to put like actual edibles in there, but... I think the idea is really cute and I know it's gonna look so good on her counter. So I got her the Jonathan Adler canister and then <laughs> this too, she's gonna die laughing. Um, and then she also said she's in her, she's trying to get into her cooking era. So I got her the half-baked harvest um, cookbook. I've used some of her recipes and I really liked them. I really loved the creamy white chicken chili. I really hope she doesn't have this one already. I don't think she has many cookbooks is what I'm assuming. So I think this one will be fun. It's like actually yummy, good meals that I feel like it'd be fun for her to just open the page and be like, what should I have to eat today? Lastly, this is something I totally, it's so random and she might never use it, but Brooke and I have this joke because whenever we travel together, she loves, and I, I know other people like to too, use like washcloths. She uses all the hotel washcloths, like her makeup, everywhere, whatever. I use makeup wipes, washcloths are definitely better for the environment, whatever. So I got her this acrylic washcloth hanger from Amazon and then I bought these black washcloths that say makeup on them because one, she always complains about how like obviously the, the washcloths get super dirty, like her makeup's all over them. With black, 
you know, you won't notice at all, really. And I thought it was cute because they say makeup because it's usually her washing her face with makeup. Um, so they're black. And I just love this acrylic washcloth hold holder. I got the idea because I saw someone show the washcloth holder on TikTok. And uh, they got it on Amazon. And then I was like, let me get her some washcloths to go in it so she could see kind of what my vision was. So I got her these. So I think it's really cute, very unique. She has no idea it's coming. I was at her apartment recently. And I went in her bathroom to make sure she had counter space. It's limited, but she has like areas she could put this. And if she doesn't use it, it wasn't expensive at all. But I thought it was really cute and I think she'll appreciate it. So yeah, got her all these fun little things. Now I'm going to attempt to wrap them all. Wish me luck. I'm gonna watch Firefly Lane while I wrap gifts. That sounds nice. Just finished wrapping all of Brooke's gifts. Sorry, the TV's still on, but look how festive and cute. I'm very proud of myself for doing this. As for Ryan's clothes, I was able to fit it all in one bag, and then I was about to put this on top, and I had to show you guys. I got on these boxers with eggs on them, like on the pan and everything. Like, if you know, you know. They're from J. Crew. They have so many printed boxers. Highly, highly suggest. I'm so excited for him to see that. Now I'm just gonna put some wrapping paper on top. The sun already set. Apparently today was the shortest day of the year. The sun set at 420, or shortest day, or the least amount of light in New York City. I don't know if it was the shortest day of the year, but the least amount of light in New York City. Like today, the sun set the earliest, which is 428 p.m. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, it's not that late, so I'm gonna start folding my laundry. It's gonna take me a minute, but um, Brooke and I just got a really exciting email about Gals in the Ghost stuff, so I'm waiting for her to call me to discuss, which is always fun. I love when I have someone to call when I'm folding laundry. Just finished folding laundry. I'm gonna run to FedEx really quick, ship out the Dyson Airwrap to the giveaway winner, wrote her a little note, and also my return my fashion pass, and then we're gonna come back and get ready to go to the Secret Santa. All right, we are gonna head to Katie's now. I I literally texted her, I was like, do you have any like sparkling water or should I bring some? Cause I just, I don't really wanna drink alcohol but I know I'm gonna wanna sip on something. And she goes, I got Topo Chico for you. So nice, I'm gonna wear this set from Free People. I will link it down below. I also, I've been linking it in my last few vlogs. I have this like folder, if you will, of a ton of winter clothes that I've been wearing. So you can click on the link and it shows you a ton of things. And this is actually on there, this set from Free People. I love it, it's so warm. And I think I'm also going to deliver my first doorman's gift because it's about to get really crazy and he usually works like in the evening and I don't wanna miss him before he, before I leave cause I'm leaving on Monday. I don't know. I just wanna like do him as I see the people at their desk. So we're gonna go give this to him and then I'm gonna scoot out. I can't wait to see who has me for Secret Santa. I can't wait for Brooke to see her gifts. I'm also bringing like leftover plates and napkins I had from my Santa Con little party, holiday party, whatever. Got the croissants. Hopefully people are into those. And then, yeah, let's go. Just got to Katie's. There's a fabulous spread here. Margo brought mags. I'm so happy. It's so festive in here. Oh my gosh. You provided mags, and that's most important. You came from work. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Oh, I love Katie's apartment. We've got the hostess with the mostess here. Welcome. I love the PJs. Where are they These from? These are my Christmas pajamas. Oh. These are, my mom got them for me, but I know they're from Revolve. Because I, I know. <laughs> so wholesome. Margo brought some no alcohol rosé. Margo Lee. <laughs> Just to get the record straight. I need to try it. I'm drinking Topo Chico. Brooke brought, I brought crumble cookies. cookies. And I, I'm bullying everyone into trying them because I said that they're good. I'm so excited. This week they have Twix, 
<gasps> peppermint um, cocoa, I think. Waffle served with a syrup, syrup and then oh. gingerbread. Oh my gingerbread. god. Yes. I'm going in on the Twix. Wow, that yes. looks so good. Bye, guys. Oh my god, they're way more beautiful than I thought they would be. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this? It looks gorgeous. There's two uh, like decorative pillows, but they're Oh wow. my god! Where are you gonna put it? Oh my god. That's so I beautiful. Be my couch. Everyone, everyone gets a oh! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, Thank god, god I missed it. Like, give it to okay. someone. Margo, literally, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so no, excited. No, And then I have Katie. Oh my god, this is so exciting! I literally love uh, seeing what everyone gets. I this love so it. Hi, baby. Yeah, because yeah, I my only thing on the list that I put was a sweat set. Yeah. Oh, okay. she got a sweat set. I, was like, I literally don't care. I just need a sweat set. I win. My person is Danielle. <gasps> My scared. person. My person. Oh my god, the yeah, wrapping. I have. It's By your oh, and I accidentally rapper. wrote it yeah. on the sticker, and I'm like, she's gonna know. No, I saw it this morning on. Oh, I posted this. I was like, fuck. No, I almost like, responded to your Mine story like, and said, take it down. Whoever you have is gonna know. But I didn't even oh notice god. the sticker when well, I went over there. I um. <laughs> so <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bought my wrapping paper from paper stores. So it was very expensive. Oh, mine was um, CVS. Mm. I don't. I, I, I don't love. Know I, I like love the art of wrapping. Um, well, I I do, yeah, I know. I know. Mine <laughs> is from Amazon. We like, did a great job. Like yeah. sent the PR yeah. from, from Amazon. Amazon. Oh, dang, I used to put that on the other side. Oh, I, I, I undid it all. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, oh my god! No, not the gift. Not the gift. Okay. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> you'll see. You'll oh my god, I'm so excited. I Yay. really did want this. I really did. This is like the thing I put on my um, Ooh, wish list. That? That I feel like I'm Matilda Jerf. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Okay. I got me too. So you, could, you and Ryan can both have it. Oh, that's oh, so cute. Are you cute. both going to record? Oh, Dude, this is freaking epic. I love the color. Like, it's really cool. Really cool. Thank you I think so you put a different color on your thing, and I was like, this goes with her perfectly. No, I know. I was trying to figure out. I was like, I don't really know. I made an executive decision. Is it the same color? Should I open it? They're both the same. Okay. I'm going to keep it wrapped and put it under my tree for until tomorrow. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Oh boy, got a big box. Big box. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. oh my god, skims! Ooh. Wait. Oh my god, did I put that? I don't even know. I'm I kind of went off the, off the grid. I don't know if I put anything other than the cup. Oh my, oh my god. Cute. Oh my god, I'm thriving. Wow. That, that was a creepy thought. That oh, was a good oh god, color cute. for you. Oh my god. I, I, I it on your Instagram It now. goes with all your black oh, jackets. I know and then what I got it is. You the, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, what is it? It's a cozy roll. Oh my god. But it's I the can, brown neutral. I can watch the boys play football. Yes, it's the perfect watch the boys play football red. Oh my god. This is very, very, very thoughtful. Danielle is over so here. You have to try it on. <laughs> Hold on me with my mug. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so, I'm literally oh. warm. There's lots of okay. things happening. This What's could this be. Is this a coaster? <laughs> I don't know, Brooke. You have to open it first. Really, wow, this Wait, did you put it on? It's like, <laughs> it's like a like, rip resistant. This like, one's from yeah. Boyard yeah. Gifts oh as well. Oh my god. Drugs. <laughs> I feel like it goes with your colorful apartment. Wait, I love it. Amazon. Amazon. All this is Amazon. This is Clara, Clara's like Amazon. Clara would approve oh, of that. I'm like so glad you like it. it. You can wash your face now. Book? Oh, there's a book. Brooks Books. <laughs> I love seeing what everyone's been giving. It's giving Danielle, I've been wanting this. I know, you keep talking about it, and you put it on your list, so I was reminded. Oh my god. Goodness. I don't oh, hopefully you like this I like one. It. I like it. I did oh. this one because like maybe it's not weed, you know. Yeah, my, yeah it's like, like it's, it's, oh gosh, I know, I it's more it. like chill. Yes, it's no. Like yes, well, it's 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 like, what kind of does? Wait, yeah. I'm obsessed Wait, with that. Oh, it's a dog yeah. toy for Max. Which one's this? Is this flower bomb? Oh Chanel. Chuno. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god. Wait, Margo. Margo, hold it up. Literally not okay. <laughs> oh, such a cute calendar. No, I love I was just got home tonight it was so amazing i was there for like five hours i just got back and it's 12 30 so stayed a little bit later than i thought but you know 
I love living room chats. Like our group chat's literally called the living room floor because we all just end up sitting there and talking and we're all like on YouTube and have podcasts and stuff. We're all very talkative. So it's honestly so fun. We all have something to say at all points in time and we just had a blast. All the, the snacks were so delicious and we just had a grand old time. So I'm really thankful to have those friends in my life. They're amazing people. I love what, so Katie had me. I love the skims and the hat and the mugs. I'm obsessed with those mugs, actually. And they go so well with my apartment. She got me two of them, which was really nice. Um, she was like, you and Ryan can have your coffee together. I was like, that's really kind. So I love you guys. That's the end of Vlogmas Day 13. Tomorrow's the last day. So sad. Bye, guys.